While well, Barack Obama and his supporters at home and abroad are celebrating his return to the White House, the reaction in one Middle Eastern country is less enthusiastic. Israeli's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had openly backed Obama's rival Mitt Romney during the election campaign and only sent the president a short message of congratulations. It seems Netanyahu's history of strained relations with Obama could now backfire. As RT's Paula Slea reports. From this to this. It was never a secret who the Israeli Prime Minister wanted in the White House. The often public spats between his government and the Obama administration over Palestinian peace talks and Iran's nuclear program did nothing to advance American-Israeli relations and only unmasked the two leaders' personal dislike for each other. We are the junior partner in this relationship. Both uh, men want to succeed. They need to cooperate in order to succeed. And uh, I think it's not, uh, it's not an insurmountable challenge for Netanyahu to fix the relationship. But he has some fixing to do. Relations between the two countries are at an all-time low. And most Israeli Americans were also hedging their bets on the Republican candidate. Of the roughly 80,000 who voted from Israel, four in five voted Romney. These few got up early to watch the results. Obama can be harsh and he can be strict with Israel because he doesn't have to worry about re-election anymore. And Netanyahu has to do what Obama tells him in many aspects because Israel is dependent on America for allies and for support in the, in the international arena. The pressing issue now is what does Obama's victory mean for Israel's foreign policy? After all, Netanyahu saw in Romney an ally, someone he agreed with on most issues including what to him is the most urgent, stopping Iran's nuclear program. Netanyahu is trying to convince the world to strike Iran, a position that until now Obama has not supported. The question is, will Israel go it alone? In order to destroy, completely destroy Iran's nuclear weapons capability, I think you need uh, many, many strikes over an extended period of time, only one country in the world that is capable of doing it, and I don't think they will do it. This is the United States of America. And without U.S. backing, Netanyahu is in a corner. Will he risk a strike or back down from his warmongering? Neither position puts him in a good light. Netanyahu took a gamble by so openly favoring Romney, welcoming him in Israel during the election campaign, and appearing in Republican campaign ads. That roll of the dice could now backfire as the Israeli elections quickly approach and Netanyahu himself will be fighting for another term in office. Paulus Lear, RT, Jerusalem.